Actually, today I have discussed this topic with my followers on my TikTok because it's uh, one of the most popular problems and situations in all um, relationships and just friendship. And you know, it's popular manipulation and this mistake such a helper have done a lot of people. They started to help them. And actually, I recommended you to subscribe on my TikTok. I named Nikita Lepovaya. And um, because uh, there are a lot of funny videos and not about psychology, just about life, my life, my own life, about a lot of interesting topics. And it will be definitely interesting for you. So come back to this problem. You know, this type of boys or just generally people who comes to you with tears and starts their like sweet speeches like I'm not enough good for you, I'm so bad, I'm so broken, my heart broken I have... Um, I had so bad experience in the past someone had broken my heart and I'm not enough good for you If you hear it, you have to stand up and go away I know it sounds like too much selfish, but becomes egocentric is one of the best things that I have ever done. Because um, don't trying to like explain that he or she is not too bad, that he or she is enough good for you, that you will help overcome over, over all difficulties and like uh, treat all them pains, sound, soul pains and mental pains. No, don't try to do it. Because even this person knows that he or she is broken and um, he or she needs to help. Not your help, just help of psychologist, professional psychologist with diploma or like help, uh, help from therapist or other. You don't need to help them. Even if uh, it boy he or she's boy or girl who you love, you don't need to trying to be like the best psychologist for them. No, you need to focusing or on self care and um, becoming like the best, the most important person in your life. But about you, you need to think about your personal growth instead, but not about these broken guys. So they understand that they are broken, and you have to understand it. Just person comes to you and uh, start explaining it inform this information, and you hear and okay, okay, I understand you. I will, I will go. I will. I'm going to go from you. I'm going away. Because you don't need to be like professional therapist for them. You know, it is actually trigger for a lot of a lot of a lot of people in the whole world because some people they scare they like nervous uh, for like started something new. For example going to the gym because they're nervous about it. Oh my god, like trainers come to the gym and ask you, hey, like, mm, have you ever did some gym exercises, some sport activities, or have you ever been in like a uh, place for gym? And you answer, no, I haven't been ever here. And you feel so nervous about that, and it is one of the reasons why I'm not going for a gym. Or maybe just you go to restaurants and you are nervous about asking uh, um, what does it mean in the menu? Because you haven't ever eaten something like that, and you think that, oh, I look like very silly. Yeah, like very dumb, very like some person without money and it's feeling nervous, but it's not okay because all people, all of us, always trying something new, always trying something unusual. And it is a great idea because if we 
will not doing something like that, which is staying a gray, um, like a gray people without ambitions, without thoughts, without ideas, without without general life, because we just we're going to stay simple person without our unusual features and like um some characters or something like that and it's not okay you know um a few years ago i felt so nervous i felt so nervous because it for me were were was a really stressful situation where i'm starting to speak on english because it's not my like motherland england it's not or america or canada it's not my motherland i'm from ukraine and ukraine is my native uh language and i i can speak native like native speaker on english but it's okay because i'm trying something new oh uh, you know my accent is not really perfect or my some grammar sometimes can be not really excellent and I can't fluently speak in English without some pauses when I have to have to remind something, you know. And yeah, it can be hard for me. But now I don't think about that like, oh, this person, this is a girl from America or this boy from Canada. And they are going to think that I'm, that I don't know English perfect. That's my like lexic not perfect i don't know a lot of a lot of words but it's okay because i don't even know english when i born i just i just speaking on ukrainian language i just speaking on russian language but i don't know english since my childhood and that's okay and actually you for example you haven't ever been on some courses drawing courses for example and you can't draw you're not able to draw like very very perfect some pictures like i don't know like some popular drawer like Leonardo da Vinci or something like that but that's okay because you have you are going to make it firstly and yeah, that's a great idea, because if you don't feel nervous about all, all, all things in the world, it's good. You are trying to do something new, you discover that you can do it and that you like it, or you discover that you don't like it, and yeah, you became an unusual person, not like others, and that's great.